YouTube, or what do you do? It's your boy Steph. There's something I want to say. Before I dive into this video, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Steph is Cold. And you gotta play the game. But you gotta play your own game. You can't play the game that society wants you to play. Unless you're in a blue pill society world. For example, if you're out there with the co-workers, y'all kicking it, but you can't really stay in him, but you know you need that job. Or your manager and people around you is irritating you, making you feel some kind of way, but you know you need that job. You know you need this point A to get to point Z. So you play the game. But once you make it out of point A to point Z and you're on in your own, you're in your own realm in your own world and you controlling your own shit. You don't have to play the game anymore. Right? See, it's just like with the women. You know what I'm saying? Some guys get out of prison, you know, and they leech on to a woman, and you play that game. You know? Oh, I need a place to stay. You know, so you're going to lie, manipulate this this chick because you need a place to stay. You really don't like her like that, but you need a place to stay. You need to stack your bread. Right? You're playing that game. But once you get it out, once you get out, you work on yourself and you get out of that mindset, you don't have to play the game anymore. It's the same thing with these women. So, it's a story I want to tell y'all, man. Um, I'm walking to the liquor store. And um, I'm about to grab me, you feel what I'm saying, a bottle of Patron. Yes, a bottle of Patron. Right next to the liquor store, you know, it's a gym. So, I can look in the gym, and the people that's in the gym can look at me. Two Latina girls and a dude. As I'm walking, she's staring. We making eye contact. What I always tell y'all, if she keep looking, G, it's a reason why she keep looking, G. No matter what she say or how she feel, if she keep looking, it's a reason why she keep looking. So, she kept looking. So, I go in the liquor store. I grab the Patron. I get out the liquor store, and as I get out the liquor store, I look down. I'm all, I'm all like, I, for some reason, I always look down when I walk. So I look down, and then when I look up, so dude was like, "Hey, bro, man, old girl, want to talk to you?" I'm like, "Who?" So you know, I go look. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, "Oh, okay." So then I go in the gym. I'm like, "Hey, what's good?" She was like, oh, I'm sorry. I, I thought you were someone else. I thought you were someone else. I'm sorry. I, I really thought you were someone else. I was like, nah, nah, you good. You good. He's like, I was like, hey, you could take my number down. She's like, no, nah, I got Instagram. I said, oh, you got Instagram? I said, that's cool. Here's my Instagram. I shook dude hand. I said, bro, I'm Steph, by the way, bro. He was like, oh, that's what's up. Then I shook the other chick hand. Her name was like Valerie or some shit. So I go click on her story. Click on her story, bro. It's like somebody like using fake pictures. Somebody using fake pictures and shit. So I'm like, damn, that's crazy. So I replied, bro. I said, damn, that's crazy. Somebody using fake pictures of you? Bro. Tell me why, bro. She commented back and says, LOL. That was quick. What, what are we supposed to be doing? Wasting time? Oh, uh, you want me to play the game. Oh, uh, you want me to, you want me to, to text you five days later. You want me to play the game. So I text back and I say, why waste time? She texts back six hours later and say, oh, I totally thought you were someone else. I'm so sorry, LOL. Stop lying. She didn't think I was somebody else. She knew what time it was. But sometimes when you don't play their game, they automatically lose. When you don't play that game, they see you as a threat. Or you don't fall into their gimmicks and their traps and you see through the goofy shit. It's like, damn, here go this again. 
she wanted me to she wanted me to wait but you didn't wait while you were staring at me you thought that I was so handsome that you had to get the other guy's attention to come get me you thought that I was so handsome that you had to get the other guy's attention to come get me because you couldn't help it and you were shaking as you were typing in my Instagram on your phone. She was literally shaking. Shaking. You're shaking because you're nervous. You're nervous because I'm very handsome. I'm sorry, baby. I didn't mean to be that handsome to you. These hoes want you to play their game. And you know what? I'm not playing their game. And neither should you. We play our own game. We make the own rules. But you can't make your own rules if you don't have your own life. You don't have your own car. You don't have your own income. You don't have your own job. You don't have your own things going on for yourself. Own circle of influence. Own mindset. Not being tricked by the media. Not being tricked by propaganda and a, and a bunch of blue pill BS. You play your own game. You play your own game. The same way that these women claim and, oh, uh, I intimidate men. Bro, when you on your shit, bro, you intimidate them 10 times more. I'll give y'all another story. <laughs> me and my boy, me and my boy, you know what I'm saying? We walk into uh, Dos Salsas. Uh, it was a really, really great Mexican restaurant, man. Um, so as we walk in, we go up the stairs and we go inside to, to wait right for this table. So as we waiting on the we, we go inside, we wait on the table, it's these group of girls. It's these group of girls, <laughs> and her father was there. So as I walk in with my boy, I could, I could like, see her looking at me. Damn, she's strapped. I could see her looking at me and shit. God damn. And um, she was like... Like, I could hear, like, I see her covering her mouth, but I already know what she's saying because she keep looking at me, then all her friends turn around looking at me. So I'm already knowing what she's saying. Oh, my God, he's so handsome. Oh, my God, he's so fine. You know what I'm saying? It's like a black Latina chick. So me and my boy, he got his wife, her friend, her other friend, right? Now... I'm already, I'm already trying to, I already tried to put my foot in the door with my boy's white friend, but she's playing hard to get. She already, she's already trying to treat me like I'm an NPC, knowing what my value really is. So I'm ignoring her. I'm not focused on her. She already trying to treat me like I'm an NPC, but she wants me to treat her like she's the protagonist. Bitch, you got me fucked up. So, shit, we sitting at the table. My boy, wife, and her friends come. The girl's over there, so I'm looking over there at the table. She, she, she keep looking at me, bro. I keep on trying to tell y'all the eyes never lie, bro. She keep looking at me, bro. She keep looking at me, so I'm taking a bite. I'm taking a bite of my steak. She keep looking at me. Shit, I'm drinking my margarita. She keep looking at me. So, shit, I point at my phone. I point at my phone. I'm like, like, meet me at the bathroom. Like, meet me out here so I can get your number and we can have conversation. She was like, but you could tell she was nervous a little bit. So I'm like, okay. Like, she was with her father. And I'm a respectful, you know what I'm saying, young man. So uh, the, the, the father left, and I believe it was her stepfather, but the father left, or whoever the man was, left. And I went up to the table. As I'm doing this, I'm pointing at my phone, and I'm pointing at her. My boy, white friend, was like, what, what are you pointing at? What are you, what are you looking at? She said, obviously, it ain't you. Because you, you ain't trying to FWM with me. You're trying to fuck with me, so it's like, I'm fucking with them. She's like, what are you pointing your phone at? I was like, oh, man, I ain't pointing my phone at nothing. Just staying in my lane. Because you ain't trying to get in my lane, so I'm staying in my lane. I go over to the table, and this is something that I learned, like, 
whenever you um, go into a group of people, bro, you always want to excuse yourself. You feel what I'm saying? You always want to excuse yourself because we're gentlemen at the end of the day, and I'm not trying to be disrespectful. So I say, excuse me, uh, can I have a word with your daughter? I swear, bro, these are my words. I said, excuse me, can I, can I, can I have a word with your daughter? And uh, she was like, excuse me? I said, no, that's a shit test, right? That's to scare me. That's the, ooh, for me to come. I'm confident as hell. I said, is it all right if I have a conversation with your daughter? Like, bro, I'm looking her in her eyes, bro, because I'm not a, I'm not soft. I'm not scared of no beautiful woman. So she was like, yeah, sure. So then I, I raised my hand now. I said, hey, how you doing? I'm stuffed. She's like, hey, nice to meet you. I was like, I ain't mean to, like, point at my phone like that. I just really want to have a conversation with you. All right. I was like, you can take down my number. You get my Instagram before we leave. She was like, yeah, I'll get your Instagram. So then she typing in my name, and she's shaking. She's shaking. All her friends staring at me and shit. So I was like, man, I'll hit you up. She was like, yeah. I hit her up. She's shaking, bro. And she typing in my name. So she typing in my name. She followed me. She liking my pictures and shit. She liking my story and shit. And then it's like, she blocked me out of the blue. And then unblocked me. And I already know why she did it. You know what I'm saying? You blocked me because you probably have a boyfriend or you're intimidated for whatever reason. But you unblocked me to hide, to hide, you know what I'm saying? You liking my pictures, me liking your pictures so your nigga won't see it type shit. And you know, it, it just had me thinking like, bro, like, these women really, really, really expect for a man, bro, to become the top 3%, top 1%, top 10%, man, to make this money, to have the right mindset, to have the cold physique, to drive a nice car, to live in a nicer place, to have hoes, and y'all want me and us to chase? We already have to pursue. The juice is not worth the squeeze. Do you know how it, it takes, con, bro? It takes confidence, bro, to cold approach a bitch, bro. It takes confidence to walk up to a chick, bro. That that takes that takes confidence. Any nigga not just doing that, just off the strength, because they confident in themselves. So the same thing they work for you can work against you. That's what I'm experiencing. Yeah, you're so handsome, but. She's not handing you no type of cheeks. She's actually making your handsome ass hard, hard uh, life harder. See, this is why I don't talk to chicks who I went to high school with. Right, chicks who try to rekindle what, what I what I tried doing with them, not what they tried doing with me, not them trying to fuck with me. What I try to do, I don't try to rekindle because what they do is they see you in the same light. They try to put you in that same light of who you was three, four years ago. You a changed woman, right? You born again. So you don't want me to treat you like a 304 because you was a 304 in high school, right? But you don't want me to treat you and look at you and see you as that same 304, right? But deep down, that's what you really is. But see, you think that I'm the simp that I was back in high school. That's what you think. You think I'm going to simp over you. No, bitch, it's time for you to simp over me. Cause you, you falling off, baby. All them chicks that was thick as hell in high school. Uh... Bro, I promise you, bro, a chick will let a bum clap just to make herself feel better before she give you any time of day, bro, because you're going to make her life harder because you a challenge, bro. And you got standards, bro. And how you do certain things, bro, is going to rub, rub, rub them women the wrong way, bro. Women get intimidated, too. Women get scared, too. They talk all that shit. 
All that shit about, oh, uh, 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 I, I intimidate men. You intimidate weak-ass niggas. You intimidate them weak-ass niggas that got to depend on you. You don't intimidate real men, baby. Real men intimidate you. And that's what it is. That's what I've been dealing with. Sometimes, bro, you could just be too much for a woman, bro. And that's okay. See, women want you to be straightforward and up, 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 up front and honest, but they never can do the same. These women want you to tell them right off the bat everything about you, where you work at, how much money you make, how many kids you got, if you got a woman or not. But I guarantee you, if you ask her about her, her weight and how much money she making, do she got kids, she'll start looking at you like this. Why are you scrutinizing me? Why are you judging me? Bitch, because you judging me. What the fuck? You judging me. I can't judge you. Ain't this equality society? You get on date now. She's going to ask you a dumbass question. So why are you on here? I'm bitch. I'm on here the same reason why you on here. What the fuck? It's always like smoking mirrors with these dumbass hoes. They don't be wanting nothing. They just want attention. That's why you have to be very, very, very um, protective and and and. You have to know who to give your energy to, who to give your attention to. Because, bro, your attention and your monogamy, your monogamy is earned, bro. A relationship is earned, G. Just like you got to earn them sweet watery guts, right? Shit, nigga, she got to earn for me to remove these hoes. Just like I got to earn them sweet watery guts. See, nobody's going to play this cat and mouse game of, of chase. I'm, we're not doing that. All you got to do, get your money right, get your mind right, get your physique right, and everything else will fall into place. Keep the most high first. Everything else is going to, everything, I promise you, everything else is just going to go up like this. But the moment you steady trying to chase that bitch and treat her like a, a celebrity, she going to always treat you like a fan. I don't care how many followers she got, bro. You have to treat them as if they are invisible, bro. You can't be butthurt. Man, I ain't, when that when that chick blocked me, I ain't I ain't message her back, bro. I ain't be like, oh, what happened? Oh my god, that's what she want me to do. Fuck you. I'm on to the next hoe. Wait, okay. On to the next chick. You missed out on your blessing. That's your blessing that you missed out on. Other girl at the gym. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, you don't want to text me? Okay, I'm not tripping. We're not gonna be tripping. Just don't get on my dick when you see another chick with me or another chick with me or another chick with me. See, that's what they do. That's what they do. They try to spin the block when they see your value. They try to spin the block when they see your value. It's too late, man. Shit, I ain't fucking with you no more, baby. I got hurt. So in order for you to fuck with me, you got to look like her. Ain't that how these hoes do us? She'll try to make you insecure. and tr She'll try to make you insecure and say, oh... Uh, I don't talk to guys with little digging sticks. I don't talk to guys that's that's under that's uh, over six feet. If you over six feet, that's the only couple of guys I talk to. Will let you say something like, "Man, the only bitches I talk to bitches that weigh 130 pounds. Only chicks I talk to is chicks with a big ass and big titties." In fact, I was having a conversation with a chick on the phone who I met, and we were gonna go on a date, but she was hating, and she was trying to lower my confidence. She was trying to make me insecure. All because I stated my preference, man. I like a girl with big titties, big ass. Oh well, I ain't, I, I ain't got, I ain't got none of that. Oh okay, it's all. I'm just letting you know what I like. Okay, well, you, you ain't gonna be the first influencer type of guy I'm talking to. Anything to, to, to lower your confidence. That's what they gonna do. Anything to make you insecure and lower your confidence. That's what these dumb assholes do, bro. That's what they do. And you can't give a fuck. You can't give a fuck. Girl told me, bro. She was like, you need to be more mysterious. You need to be more mysterious. Like, don't post all this stuff. Be more mysterious. Be more low key. Why? Bitch, you got your titties out. You got your big titties. This big cleavage just out. Why I can't do the same shit you do? Because you don't want me to get the hoes. 
You don't want to be in competition. You want to lower my confidence and make me weak. And I don't give a fuck. You should not give a fuck. You just laugh at that goofy shit. Ah, whatever. Whatever. You still like me. You just trying to... You, you just talking. That's all they be doing. They just be talking, bro. Because a woman can just be talking. But she could be doing something completely different while she talking. Oh, I hate him. But he blowing her back out. Oh, you need to be mysterious. But you want me to come over. But you in my DM. You're telling me how to move. But you're in my DM. You're telling me that, oh, I'm not the first, you're not the first influencer type of guy that, that, that I dated. But you DM me first. You're on my dick. So you on my dick, but you want to lower my confidence by telling me that, oh, I date other influencers. Bitch, that shit don't work on me. That only work on you hoes. Just because you got another nigga don't make, that's not going to make us try harder because y'all got a nigga. It doesn't make us try harder. Y'all dumb assholes try harder when we got a woman though. For some reason, I don't know what that's about. Ooh, I'm going to win him over. Come over here, get clapped out, and send your dumb ass back home. You think you finna take my wife's spot, dumb ass bitch. These hoes are dumb. They are. So you got to put yourself first, bro. That's my little rant for the day, man. You know? They don't want you. They just want your attention, G.